recording? All right, hi, this is Nancy with On Point TV. I am coming to you live from Smith Owen Sewing Center, which is my quilt shop. Well, okay, not my quilt shop. It's the quilt shop I frequent quite often up here on the northeast side of Grand Rapids on Plainfield. So that's Smith Owen Sewing Center. So I have been teaching a really smart group of ladies the learning to quilt class, and I thought it would be really fun to show you what they've done so that when you're deciding to make your learning to quilt, um, quilt following my book and the videos on YouTube, you'll have lots and lots and lots of color choices to determine what you want your colors to be. So I'm gonna come get the camera now. There we go. So this is Smith Owen. Say hi, everyone. You guys. Hi. Okay, hi. there we go. The class, <laughs> the class is being a little bit camera shy. So, all right. So look at this one here. Now this was the 19... 30s quilt. So watch this. I'm going to come into the butterfly and you can really see that 1930s fabric. She used a very traditional um, kind of creamy um, white into the background. There's her cable borders. There's the rail fences. There's the paper pieced tulip. So look at those wonderful colors. And with this one, I want to go to the border so you can see the border. That was the border that started it all. So from that printed border, that's where we got all the other colors. All right, now this one is the extreme opposite of the 1930s. This black and white wild border is what started it all. And then from there, we picked out the white and black pin dot. We used some black background because the black was in the um, border print. And I want to come around and show you... There is the fourth block in the Learning to Quilt book. So when you're looking at these designs, most of them are from the book. Some of the ladies just got really, really creative. All right, now we're going to come around to this one. This is really soft, and it looks like it might be a baby quilt, but it's not, right? Okay, this is Anne's. She's not here right now. So very, very soft colors. So I want to take you to this background fabric, the back of that applique. That's what started it. All of the colors chosen for this quilt did not come from the border this time. Instead, it came from the background fabric. And then we used that background fabric even in the samplers. And then again, in the setting triangles on the border. Let me see if I can get this whole one up. There we go, really soft colors. So this was made by a couple of well, okay, I'm going to say it. The youngest girls in the class. And so one did this one with those soft colors. And then her best friend did this one. So totally different. There's the fourth block in the Learning to Quilt book. So the same block just looks different than the one with the black background. Now the thing I really, really love about here is the border medallion. All right. So there's the applique, then the flying geese with the paper piece tulips, and look at how she cut this fabric going around. She made it directional and cut it special and pieced it so it actually is going out all the way around the quilt. I wish there was a way that we could hang them all up, but we just don't have that much space. Okay, coming around. Okay, that's not a learning to quilt quilt, but isn't that pretty? Okay, back to work. All right, so now this quilt started with the border prints. Let's go to the border print. Becky says, beautiful quilts, everyone. All right, so this is the border print that she started with. So a creamier background, the blues, the dark purples. And look at what she did with her inner border right here. She cut that length of grain so that she could get that to go straight all the way around the quilt. And coming out, all right, now she did the, the butterfly for the center. And there's the flying geeses. All right, gonna come over here to the next one. This one's got really, really cool colors, which kind of surprised us all, honestly, because some of the fabrics she had not chosen at the time that I helped her pick the fabrics. And so she ended up picking, let me see if I can point to it, this fabric 
and it turned out to be the coolest one. We keep looking at this thinking it kind of looks denim-y, and it all happened because of that fabric that she chose. Okay, gonna go inside and show you the fabric that started this one. The colors were chosen for this one using this. Again, the background fabric that was chosen. Oh, and she fussy cut some for the circles here, her perfect circles. She fussy cut those fabrics. I love, love, love the gray used on the backgrounds there. All right, so I'm gonna come around to the one that they're basting. So girls, if you don't wanna be on camera, run now. Okay. So one of our gals had a little, didn't get quite her basting done. So like I always say, basting is funner when you do it with a group of friends. So she brought it in. We put it down on the big tables. So this one started with this very large paisley. Look at all those colors. And then it goes out. And one of these fabrics, where did the orange come from, you might ask? This fabric here had these little accents of this kind of neon orange. So that's where we decided that we could put some of the orange in it. And of course it accents beautifully on the whole quilt. Now this one, oh, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna try not to be too wiggly. All right, I don't write, where'd you get your border, your appla, no, your center applique design from? Oh, Mimi Dietrich's. Okay, Mimi Dietrich's basic applique blocks. That's where she got that center applique. That one is not in the Learning to Quilt book, but you see it's got flowers and leaves. You got that. You can do that. See all the cable work on everybody's quilts? Now, coming over here, she wanted her quilt a little bit bigger. So the inner border is two. The second border is four. The last border is six. And she took the paper piece tulip that's in the book and blew it up. 148% and that made it a perfect six inch paper piece block. So that's what she has for the corners on her final border. All right, gonna go back around. I got a couple more to show you, but I don't wanna put too many other people on camera. Okay, all right, there. We're gonna go around here and look at all the other pretty quilts on the walls. Look at that, somebody's still working. Okay, this one's so cool. That peach color is the perfect accent. So peach and navy blue going together. And I'm trying to remember. Okay, I'm going to try and show this to you. For the fabric that started it. So this is the fabric that the colors came from. It is not her final border. The final border is this beautiful dark blue. But that's where the blue and the gray and the peach all happened with the green accents. All right, now we're gonna go around it. Two more over here. More pretty quilts on the wall. All right. So this one, you know what? It's green and red, so you would think that it has a Christmas look to it, but it doesn't because that red is more of a, a um, what do we wanna call this color? Um, kind of, it's not burgundy, it's not Merlot, it's not pink either though, with that orange, it's a little bit more orange on the flowers, and it's the perfect accent. Oh, Dye says stunning. Hi, Dye. So we've got tulips, absolutely beautiful quilts. All right, can we see this? I want to open that up. So this is the tulip pattern from the, oops, okay, now you guys all got really dizzy when I did that, didn't you? Sorry. So there's the tulip pattern from the Learning to Quilt book, and look at that, oh, that's not a batik for the border. All right, goes out, use a little bit of mustard yellow. All right, one more to show you, and this one is quite a surprise. The fabric for the quilt started with this kind of I don't even know what to call it. It kind of looks mushroomy, I guess. But from that, this is the other fabric that went in that collection. So it's got skulls and they're all facing. Oh, and she made different borders too. So we've got a one inch super shiny metallic. I don't know if you can see that. Then the mushroom, then the blue, and then the skulls. So hers is a little bit bigger also. So let's go this way. I love the way the mushrooms the way that fabric really played in the flying geese and the skulls just crack me up. 
Okay, we're going to go back around to this one and look at the applique. So there you have it. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We got 12 quilts done in this class. So I'm going to scan over there and everyone's going to say hi. You ready? All right, say hi. Hi. There's class. Thanks for watching. See you later. Oops. There.